This woman left her obese husband, but two years later she will regret it. Clara and Julian had once been the epitome of love the couple everyone admired, envied, even aspired to be like. For five years, they were inseparable, with friends always commenting on how they completed each other. But behind the smiles and the facade of a perfect marriage, Clara was struggling. It wasn't that she didn't love Julian, she adored him. But something else was weighing on her, literally. Julian, with his soft heart and kind soul, had let himself go. Over time, his weight became more than just a number, it became an anchor, holding them both down. Clara found herself daydreaming about a life filled with adventure, spontaneity, and freedom things that felt out of reach with Julian. He was always out of breath, too tired, too unmotivated to go out, to experience life the way Clara craved. One evening, as they sat in silence at the dinner table, Clara made a decision that would shatter their world. Julian, I love you. I really do, she said softly, but with a trembling firmness. But I can't live like this anymore. I need to be free. Her words echoed in the quiet room, heavy with the weight of the years they had shared. Julian's face, once full of laughter and joy, fell. He didn't argue. He couldn't. Deep down, he knew this was coming. But nothing could prepare him for the crushing loneliness that followed her departure. For weeks, Julian was a shell of himself. The house felt empty, and so did his heart. But then something changed. A spark ignited within him something primal, a desire not for revenge, but for rebirth. If Clara had felt trapped, then maybe, just maybe, he was the one who had been caging himself all along. Determined, Julian embarked on a journey of transformation. He hired a personal trainer, worked with nutritionists, and began surrounding himself with people who believed in him. Every drop of sweat, every aching muscle, and every small victory over his old habits became a symbol of his new life. His weight began to melt away, and in its place, a renewed version of himself emerged. But it wasn't just his body that changed his mind, his soul, his very essence transformed. Two years passed, and Julian was no longer the man Clara had left. He had become something more an inspiration to others as a holistic health coach, guiding those who, like him, had once felt lost and defeated. His life was full again, not of Clara's presence, but of purpose. Clara, on the other hand, didn't find the life she had imagined when she walked away. The excitement she had sought had been fleeting. The thrill of freedom quickly turned into a cold, unrelenting loneliness. As time passed, her heart began to ache for the man she had left behind. In her moments of solitude, she often wondered what had become of Julian. Had he moved on? Did he hate her? Then one day, a letter arrived. The envelope was simple, but her name, written in Julian's familiar handwriting, sent her heart racing. Inside, Julian spoke of his journey, of his regrets, and of his growth. He didn't beg for her to come back he didn't need to. But in his words, Clara saw the man she had always believed Julian could become. They agreed to meet, both unsure of what would happen next. When Clara stepped into the cafe where they had agreed to reunite, her breath caught in her throat. Julian was unrecognizable not just physically, but in his demeanor. He radiated confidence, his posture straight, his smile easy. And Clara, who had always been so sure of her decision, felt her heart stir with a mixture of admiration and regret. Julian stood to greet her, and as their eyes met, time seemed to slow. They sat across from each other, the weight of the past between them, but something else to hope. They talked for hours about the pain, the growth, the choices they had made. Clara confessed her regrets, her loneliness. Julian shared his journey, his triumphs. And in that moment, they both realized something profound they had changed, and maybe, just maybe, they were ready to love each other in a new way. As they left the cafe, side by side, neither of them knew what the future held. But they both understood one thing. They had been given a second chance not just at love, but at life. And this time, they wouldn't waste it. As Clara and Julian walked out of the cafe, the cool breeze of the evening wrapped around them, carrying a sense of renewal. They strolled in comfortable silence, 
the weight of their past still present, but less burdensome now. Every step felt like a fresh start, a chance to rewrite their story not the one they had left behind, but the one they were just beginning. Clara glanced sideways at Julian, marveling at how different he looked. But it wasn't just the weight loss that caught her attention, it was his entire presence. He exuded a calm confidence, a quiet strength she hadn't seen before. The man walking beside her wasn't the Julian she had left. He was someone new, someone who had fought his own battles and come out stronger. And she, too, had changed. The independence she had sought after leaving him had taught her harsh lessons about love, about regret, about herself. So how does it feel? Clara finally asked, breaking the silence. This new life of yours, Julian smiled, his eyes focused on the horizon. It feels dot 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 liberating, he said, his voice steady. Not just the weight loss, it's like I shed more than just pounds. I let go of the doubts, the insecurities. I had to confront myself in ways I never imagined. Clara nodded, understanding more than she could express. She had spent two years running, avoiding her own insecurities, thinking freedom lay in leaving. But now, standing next to Julian, she realized true freedom came from facing oneself, from growing rather than escaping. Do you ever wish things had been different? She asked tentatively, unsure of how much of her heart to reveal. Julian paused, considering her question. Sometimes he admitted, but I don't regret the journey. I think we both had to go through this to become who we are today. His answer settled in Clara's chest, warm and reassuring. She had been so afraid that her leaving had broken him, that she had destroyed whatever love they had left. But here he was, stronger than ever, and somehow that gave her hope. As they walked through the park, their footsteps in sync, the conversation flowed easily, like old friends reconnecting after years apart. They laughed about memories, shared stories of their lives post-separation, and spoke of their dreams for the future. There was no bitterness, no blame, just a mutual understanding that both of them had grown in ways neither could have anticipated. At one point, they found themselves on a bridge overlooking a small, calm river. The sun was setting, casting a golden glow over the water. It felt symbolic, as if the universe was giving them a sign that this was the beginning of something new. Julian turned to Clara, his face serious, but soft. Clara, I want you to know something. I don't expect us to just fall back into what we had before. I'm not the same person, and I know you're not either. But dot, dot, dot if there's even the slightest chance that we could build something new together, I'd like to try. Clara felt her heart skip a beat. The vulnerability in his voice, the courage it took to say those words, it was everything she had missed about him. She had always loved Julian's heart, even when she felt trapped by his physical limitations. But now, that heart had grown even bigger, stronger. I want that too, she whispered, her voice barely audible over the gentle sounds of the river. I want to see where this goes. We've both changed, and maybe that's exactly why we deserve a second chance. In that moment, as the last rays of sunlight danced on the water, something shifted between them. It wasn't the passionate, whirlwind romance of their early days. It was deeper, more grounded a love born from understanding, growth, and forgiveness. It was the kind of love that had been tested by time and trials and had come out on the other side, stronger and more resilient. They stayed on the bridge for a while longer, watching the sky turn shades of pink and purple, not needing to say anything more. The future was uncertain, but for the first time in a long time, Clara and Julian both felt hopeful not just for what they could become as individuals, but for what they might become together. As they walked back toward their cars, Julian stopped and turned to Clara, his eyes searching hers. Clara, whatever happens from here, I just want you to know. I never stopped loving you, not even for a second. Clara felt tears welling up in her eyes. She had been so afraid that her decision to leave had severed their bond forever. But now, standing here, she realized that their love had endured, not in spite of their separation, but because of it. I never stopped loving you either, Julian, she whispered, her voice trembling with emotion. And I'm ready to see what we can build together. Julian smiled, and in that moment, 
Clara knew that this was their fresh start, not a return to the past, but the beginning of a new journey, one where they could both be free and yet deeply connected, stronger for having walked separate paths before finding each other again. As they parted ways that night, there was no need for promises or grand declarations. They both understood that love, real love, was something that didn't need to be forced. It grew, slowly and steadily, nurtured by time, trust, and the willingness to change. And as Clara drove home, she couldn't help but smile to herself. Leaving Julian had been the hardest decision she had ever made, but now she knew sometimes, you have to let go in order to find your way back. The next chapter of their lives was just beginning, and this time, they were writing it together. In the days that followed, Clara found herself thinking about Julian constantly. Their reunion had stirred feelings she thought she had buried feelings of warmth, of safety, of the deep connection they had shared. But this time, there was something new, a sense of curiosity. Who was this man Julian had become? And more importantly, who was she now that she had learned so much about herself? It didn't take long before Julian called her. His voice was calm, but Clara could sense the same uncertainty she felt. Clara, he began, I was wondering Dot, but Dot would you like to join me for one of my health coaching workshops? It's not much, but I thought it might be nice for you to see what I've been up to. Clara smiled at the invitation. I'd love to, she replied, her heart racing with anticipation. She had been eager to see this new world Julian had built, and maybe, in doing so, she would better understand the man he had become. The following weekend, Clara walked into the wellness studio where Julian held his workshops. It was a warm, inviting space filled with people of all ages and walks of life. There were those on their own fitness journeys, seeking guidance, and others who had come to learn from Julian's experience. As she took her seat at the back of the room, Clara felt an overwhelming sense of pride. This was the man who had once been so weighed down, physically and emotionally, and now he stood before the group as a beacon of hope, leading others on their own paths to transformation. Julian noticed her the moment she walked in, his face lighting up with a smile that made Clara's heart skip, but he didn't break his focus. Instead, he carried on with the session, speaking about the importance of holistic health, how it was about more than just losing weight. It was about mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being. He spoke with such passion and clarity that Clara found herself hanging on every word. After the workshop, Julian approached her, his expression both hopeful and nervous. So what did you think? He asked, scratching the back of his neck the way he always did when he was unsure of himself. Clara smiled, her eyes shining with admiration. I think you're incredible, Julian. I mean, I knew you had changed, but seeing you like this. You're a completely different person, and I love it. Julian's face softened. It wasn't easy. There were times I wanted to give up, but I kept going, not just for myself, but for the people who believed in me. He paused, searching her face. You know, I think a part of me was always hoping that one day, you'd be proud of me. Clara's heart swelled with emotion. She stepped closer, reaching for his hand. Julian, I was always proud of you. I just, I couldn't see it through the lens of my own struggles. But now, seeing who you've become, the lives you're changing, I am so proud of you, and I'm proud of us. They stood there, hands intertwined, a moment of understanding passing between them. It wasn't about the weight loss, the coaching, or even their separation. It was about the journey they had both taken to become the people they were now. It was about growth individually and together. As the weeks went on, Clara and Julian found themselves reconnecting in ways they hadn't expected. They went on hikes, something Clara had always dreamed of doing, and Julian, now full of energy and strength, eagerly joined her. They tried new foods, explored new hobbies, and rediscovered the little things they used to love late night talks, laughing over shared memories, even moments of quiet togetherness that felt more meaningful than ever before. But it wasn't all easy. There were moments when their past crept up, when the wounds of their separation made them question whether they could truly move forward. But instead of avoiding those difficult conversations, they faced them head on with honesty and compassion. 
One evening, as they sat on the balcony of Clara's apartment, watching the stars twinkle above, Clara found herself asking a question that had lingered in her mind for some time. Do you think we were meant to go through all of that? The heartbreak, the time apart. Do you think we had to lose each other to find ourselves? Julian thought for a moment, his gaze thoughtful as he looked out at the night sky. I don't know if it was meant to happen, he said softly, but I do know that we wouldn't be who we are today if it hadn't. I don't think we were ready for each other back then. Not fully, we had to learn how to love ourselves first. Clara nodded, her heart swelling with the truth of his words. It was as if their separation had been a necessary step in their journey, not an ending, but a pause. They had both needed time to heal, to grow, and now they were reaping the rewards of that growth together. As they sat in comfortable silence, Clara leaned her head on Julian's shoulder, feeling the warmth of his presence. It was a feeling she hadn't experienced in so long the security of being with someone who truly understood her, not just as the woman she used to be, but as the woman she had become. I love you, Julian, Clara whispered, the words coming naturally now, without fear or hesitation. Julian smiled, his hand gently stroking her hair. I love you too, Clara, always. And in that moment, beneath the stars and the cool night air, they knew their love had come full circle. Not as a return to the past, but as a new chapter in a story that was still unfolding one filled with second chances, growth, and the kind of love that could weather any storm. Because in the end, love wasn't about perfection. It wasn't about having all the answers. It was about choosing each other, day after day, through the highs and the lows. And this time, they were ready to choose each other, knowing that the best was yet to come. Their journey was far from over, but as they faced the future hand in hand, Clara and Julian knew one thing for sure, they had found their way back to each other, stronger and more whole than ever before. And this time, they were building something that would last a love that had been tested by time and had only grown deeper in its wake.